Arts and economics, they're, they're almost enemies to each other at the moment. Uh, economics wants us to validate arts as a commodity. Artists do not want to base their work on outcomes and how much it's valued in monetary terms. So I thought, OK, that's the, that's the project to do from an arts perspective. A for assets, B for budget, no, that's not what I meant. C for customers, D for debt, E for economy... Okay, economics and children, again, not the easiest subject to tackle. At the moment, adults are, are burdened and confused themselves about the subject. We don't really know what we want to tell our children because what we've been doing is getting it pretty wrong. Um, so what is the legacy we've left and how do we create something that says, OK, it's like this, kids? Well, we can't do that. So I thought, OK, make a piece that just allows both the adults and children to gaze at the subject matter of banking and money and just think about it. The audience get to discover the safe and they're expecting to see piles of money. And as we know at the moment with austerity cuts, and a lot of difficulties around the world. Money is also scarce, and we need to think about how it's allocated and spent and shared. So we find out more than about just money in the safe, and we go into a whole labyrinth, which is a bit more like an art gallery experience, where you get to see symbols of how we um, exploit the earth, really, for our own means. What happens at the very end of the show is um, the children get to be part of a ritual that really um, celebrates their own resources, the things that don't cost them anything, and they actually get to make their own wish, and the bank will bank those wishes.